Hey there, everybody that here, and welcome back to that Plays XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Let's head out to the Geoscape and look at some alien alloys and crystals, but we got a scientist beacon here. We also got a mission over here. There's a UFO. It landed. It's going to have agony. It's going to be mindless. There is at least one enemy unknown here. So there's a lot to talk about, a lot to be excited about here today. We also have advantageous cover, Setting for whatever that's worth. For sector 15, All right. West Asia. Off to West Asia. To get this UFO. Now then. Here we go. We also have the Geo... No, the Fire Eaters and the Collectors. And of course, Mach X. But when don't we have Mach X? Am I right? Okay. Um, Chef Bear, you don't have an auxiliary weapon. We need to switch up your gear here. We also need to, like, maybe give you some gear. We haven't seen Pillamore out on the battlefield in a while, so... I think we got, we're gonna bring him out. We had our, uh... War of the Chosen troops on the last mission, and honestly, they kicked several kinds of ass, I have to say. Good work. You know, kudos to all of them. Thank you for all that you've done. Wraith suit for Chef Burr, got himself a super immolator, and uh, how about that medical canister, so that he could be a healer, and then we'll give him eh, some kind of armor, alright, and then, hmm, I mean a pistol sounds good, and probably makes the most sense, but we have the advanced scramble gear now, which gives double stats, which uh, that double hack bonus is a pretty big deal, you know. It can also allow you to mark targets, apparently. Okay, but that's not what you need. No, Chef Bear, what do you need? What do you... Keep, that can give you a fusion axe? You know, I'm gonna give you an axe. Gives you melee capabilities, and you can throw it. So what's not the love? What about your PCS here? What do you have? The willpower? Yeah, I mean, that's still probably good. How about your... Uh, not your equipment. How about your abilities? You have 8 AP. We could give you dissonant energies, electric attacks do bonus damage. I mean, you don't have that much in the way of electric attacks. We haven't used anything for Alchemist here. Gain a momentum action point when using the canister's ability. Acid attacks do bonus attacks to poison targets. Canister's bonus ability does more damage to targets immune to the normal damage type. Increase the number of times he act. Yeah, yeah, make that. Give me that one. While standing in an environmental effect, become immune to mental effects and gain damage reduction based on the chem thrower tech level. That one's just weird. Uh, chemical deflector provides the same immunities for the soldier squad mates if they're within range. What's... I mean, yeah... Yeah, I guess. Sure. Chemical bastion. Granted, I need to have an actual chemical equipped to make that useful. So... I guess I could switch over to the acid canister, and then he's immune to acid, and then he won't be a healer, but he will be an acid bro. And that could also be useful. So if I'm gonna bring you out to the battlefield, I'm gonna bring your bonded partner, Billamore, once I can find him on this dang old list. This 500 year long list. Okay, Billamore, what's your loadout looking like? You got your, you got your sniper, you got your beamer, you got a plasma warhead? No. I'm gonna give you the advanced scramble gear. You'll get extra aim. You don't need the hack bonus, but everything else you're gonna get is gonna be sick. And of course, some good ammo. Let's go ahead and go with the needle rounds. I think that'll be good. That'll be good. You have an extra aim. And Actually, wait, you actually own expanded mag. Don't we have a better expanded mag? We have an advanced one here, yeah. Hit this sucker up. Superior auto loader, yeah. Advanced hair trigger, we do have a superior one. But he, to be fair, his chance of actually missing is very low. I should give him a superior scope instead. Yeah, he's usually a long range dude. And his hand cannon can also have an expanded mag. So make, upgrade that to the superior one. And then he does not need the scope because this is a short range weapon. Okay, that's the whole point of it. So instead, I don't know. I don't think I need to give him anything, really. Uh, if I give them the, if I give him an auto loader on this, will it actually work? Probably not, but I'm gonna put it on anyway. Only one way to find out. 
How about your abilities? Oh, wow, we have a lot of them we haven't used. Take control of any target on a hit for three turns. I mean, you don't use melee weapons, so that's not that useful. Scout the area, marking all hostiles in a large cone while remaining hidden. Mark targets take 10 to 20% more damage. Treat enemies high cover as low cover for aim. Oh my god, that's amazing. Mark an enemy for termination. Your single target attacks against a marked enemy will cause additional battle rifle attacks. Mark the enemy until it dies. Critical hits blind enemies for a turn. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Your critical hits on psionics set them on fire. I don't even understand that one. Gain a grenade. Alright. Uh, sticky bombs do extra. Yeah, I don't care about sticky bombs. Enemies targeted by night dive. That's the one where he teleports. Will take double damage from the next hand. Yeah, frick, man. He has, like, really good skills, and I haven't been, like, upgrading him much. Alright, I think... At this point, I almost feel like these two could do this mission, but I don't think they could. <laughs> All right, I'm cocky. I'm not that cocky yet. All right, these guys are good. They aren't that good. Maybe. Uh, Neon, let's send you as backup as well. Let's set a team of, s let's say, six. I don't think I need all eight. But what if we did a team of six? Speed Crush can be number five. All right, we have a, okay, we have a lot of long range here. So we need someone who can fight a little bit closer. We don't need a melee god. We just need someone who can get up a little bit closer and uh, do the needful here. So, or a psionic. You know what, Violet, you have 195. You actually, I think, yeah, you actually out psionic Jack. Let's bring Violet to this mission and see what she can do. I'm actually going to give you the shield vest over this basic armor. Yeah, I think that's better. And you know what? I don't think you need the edge beam. It does give you mobility, but you can teleport. So I'm going to give you the other advanced scramble gear. All right. It's five against 11. I think they're outnumbered. That's a joke. But anyway, let's see what they can do. Okay, I'm feeling okay about this team. Sky Ranger deployed. Let's see how it works hey, out. Here goes mindless agony. We will see what happens, and hopefully we won't get an arrow to the knee. Because then we'll have to, you know... We'll have to play Skyrim back on the uh, Avenger. Which, you know... Knowing Todd Howard, it, it's, pro it's probably on the Avenger somewhere. You can run Skyrim on it. There's probably a shiv running Skyrim right now. Wouldn't surprise me. Mmm, and a codex, too. Yeah. There's a codex out there that thinks it's the Dragonborn. I don't know how that's going to work out for us. Hopefully well, because it's just going to sit there and scream at us, and it won't do anything. Oh, but what if they get a psionic scream? Ooh, that could do something. That'd be spicy. I don't want that kind of spice in my house. All right. I season my food, but not with, you know, the rage of my enemies. Like, I use the blood for that. Alright. And only the right ones. Alright. Berserker blood, very, very spicy. Alright. Advent officer blood, too cannibalistic. Can't do it. Sorry, it's just me. You know, they're, they're too human. Just a little bit too human for me. Right. Sectoids, uh, the, the new sectoid is kind of getting close to that line as well. Very, very close to that line. The old sectoid, the short fat ones, they're fine. They're fine. They're, they're alien enough. All right. We, we can we can oof them and we can we can dissect them and we can do what we need with them. This conversation got really weird. Um, it's not really a conversation. It's more like a monologue. And for some reason, then I started thinking about like the mutants and Fallout. I don't know how my brain just started going in that direction next, but like you know, do they eat them? I, I mean, I know they eat gecko. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's not gecko on a stick. Sometimes it's dang, it's a gecko on a stick. But we don't talk about that one right now. Um, I presume they eat Deathclaw. 
moves against the aliens in this area. Probably. Like they when they can kill it. The anyway, hi Central, how you doing? To secure the site. Let's go secure this site, huh? And seize whatever gear you can yeah. That ship. Get the mission started, so I'll shut up. I can't remember the name of the weird chimera-like enemy in Fallout. It's it's a it's like a mutant. That's it's, it's a disgusting, gross little two-headed thing. I can't remember its name. Someone will tell me in the comments, and I'll probably remember it before then. But you know, tell me anyway. That's a Praetorian. That's the new enemy. All right, you heard him. Scoot, 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 and oof, oof, oof. That's the goal. That's the plan. We're gonna make it happen. I'm on the move. All right, Chef Bear. You're probably our best candidate for getting up close in personnel. For now. There's a Collector Vanguard and a Collector Assassin. Okay. Go ahead and uh, give me the hook. Let's get upstairs. Well, we're already upstairs. But let's get uh, closer to our targets. Okay, there's a Praetorian. It's a weird-looking mother. All right. Okay, Billamore, you can actually see the Praetorian from here. It's mechanical, and it can jump. Cool. Uh, this one... I mean, we get a chance to be revealed either way. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a Collector Vanguard, all right. I might just have you start shooting from here. I don't know yet. Okay. Oh. Violet, why don't you move up a little bit? Do you have something you can do from here? Let's see. What do we have? Mark's target. That's thanks to your um, headset. Null Ward. Insanity. One turn cooldown. Um, stasis... Soul fire. All right. Domination. Only one successful nomination can be performed. 100% chance. Uh, eat my feet. Uh, and mind control. I think we could use both of these. Which you gotta admit would be a little nuts. Speed crush. Remember, speed crush has the Hesh shell as well. And a flechette if we need to get, like, you know different kind of shot going on um 91 i'm tempted to have you kill this vanguard because here's the thing we can start the battle right away on the move you know and i don't i actually don't think it's going to hurt to do so kind of wish i could have you like go down here but i can't go ahead and give me the overwatch from here the prize. get your eyes on that prize we got the sniper shell we got the heat up shell which is uh this is a little bit closer range and it explodes but we can only see one of the dudes down there, so I'm assuming that won't explode big enough. So, go ahead and give him the shoot juice. Yeah, it would not have exploded big enough. The juice is shooting. Move it, people. Nicely done. Hello, Praetorian. How you doing? Okay. Alright, Violet. Can you actually get a no Lance over there? You cannot. How far can you get that? Uh, to there? That's not helpful. You could reanimate this dude. Go ahead and do that. Bring him back to the battlefield and give me that distraction. And it'll also give me sight range over in that direction. All right, you're back on my side for a hot minute. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, you just, you just point at him. That's all you got to do. I don't want to release the zombie. I want to move the zombie. We are your genetic destiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're under my control, Mr. Genetic Destiny, so deal with it. Ah, Gatekeeper and a Brute. Okay, good stuff. Billamore, 100%. 100%. I'm probably going to have you kill the Praetorian. Haven't decided for sure yet. Okay, you have many options here, Chef Bear. I'm going to go ahead and choose the option of Overwatch for now. Okay, Pillamore, you're the only one left? All right, um, well, this is 100%. Go ahead and take it. Okay, we're safe from that side. Quick, smooth, one line. One word. Kill. He did it. Alright, here they are. Okay, I don't know what that Praetorian do. They apparently harbinge. Oh, well he's downstairs now, apparently. Hmm. And they just ticked off Advent, too. I think it's Advent. I think they count as admin. They have to. I'm assuming the ones in the back... Wait, what are you doing? Oh. Hello. Nice miss, loser. Yep, here comes a slapback. Alright. 
Um, hello, ground. How you doing? This one five. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. Shoot. It's some kind of How many turns we got for that? Seven turns? Okay, we have plenty of time. Chef Bear can definitely deal with this. Alright, speed us. crush reload. Okay. Could have you shoot right. Wow, that's a good chance to take out that brute. But I tell you what, I'm gonna have you actually do. Get upstairs so that next turn you can launch another big bomb. And by another, I mean the first one, but you know. Okay, Neon, let's move you up a bit. All right, I'll go. Yeah, the question is, do I bring you over to the UFO as well? And I'm tempted to say I do not yet. Go ahead and give me the overwatch. Okay. Violet, let's come over to the side. Okay. Okay, while you're doing that, Chef Bear, it looks like these guys aren't alerted on your ass, so I'll tell you what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have you head over here. Seems doable. What I want to do is get the foundation to know we're here. And that, wow, okay. That, that got all their attention. That is exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Because now they're all going to fight each other. All right. Chef Bear, fall back. Fall back to this heavy cover over here. I'm going. Actually, there's a double heavy cover spot right next to that, so that was not the best move, but it's fine. All right, Violet, go ahead and give me some Overwatch. Here. You, um... Well, hi, Gatekeeper. How you doing? Come up here. Hillamore? Oh, my God. He's got such... Such accuracy. Um, but I do want you to have some cover. So get behind this tree. Roger. And now you have no accuracy. Okay, no shots. You have accuracy. You just don't have anything you can shoot. Side zombie, stay right there. I think that's going to get some attention. Hey, free cover. Let's go. Gotta love it. All right, here comes Mach X. You coming to mock us? What do they got? One, two, three. Well... Oh, they, they went with a mostly um, Skirmisher Reaper approach, too. I see a Templar, at least one. But at least two Reapers. Okay. And then one regular soldier. They are a Grenadier. All right. All right. Well, we're here. Ooh. That looked dangerous. Oh, is he crashing through the wall? Yep. Okay, good stuff, Violet. No kill, though. Neon? Cleaned up. There you go. Didn't break the wall, which is weird. Oh, there was a Praetorian. Apparently, that's what that thing do. Dude. All right, that was a miss. It's 64%. Hell, we heard it, though. Oof, look at that. He has skulls in its belly, stomach, frame, chassis. I don't know. All right. That's not a big deal. Y'all can kill that thing all you want. It's literally just... Uh, are you going to whiff that shot? No, you aren't. Wow. Crit. Big oofers. Wow, they are not great with the slapbacks here. These fire eaters ain't eating. The only thing they're eating is... Uh, sh shoot, that's going to hurt. Well, maybe. I think you're using gateway. Yep. Is he going to use gateway on one dude? No. Wait, did he hit anyone? Oh, he went for the res, of course. Such a wild tactic, dude. Okay, that did give up most of his armor to do, too, which is even weirder. It's just... Yeah, it's just a side zombie. We're good. Okay. Okay, we have a lot of options here. Gotta wait for the MTF force to move, of course. Yeah, you shot him, all right. And you gonna use your big gun? Oh, man. That big gun, though. Too bad you can't do it the other way around. I mean, I know they're taking the free shots, and that's why they can't do it the other way around, but still. This is why I try to get the foundation to attack my enemies, because I know they're good at it. And done. Yep, there goes the Praetorium. Hey, that's something new we can research, I hope. I mean, once we get this mission done, we do get to take everything. So this is definitely the mission where we want to try to grab whatever we can. Oh, man, did you do that spin? That was sick. <laughs> All right, you're going to burn? Yo, wait, no, you're going to shoot her from behind. Okay. And then you're going to burn? No, no burns? Okay. 
little whack, but whatever. I gotta concentrate on that gatekeeper. That thing's gotta go. Uh, we do have the acid canister. So I tell you what, move over here. Whatever you say. I say move over there. Oh, wait, no, that's not gonna do anything. He's retributing. Okay. No biggie. Give me the acid. Firing incendiary. Have some green goo! Seven damage, eight damage, hell yeah. Shredded that ass. Ooh, and broke his concentration. And, wow, panicked one of them, too. Holy crap. Wow, that is a ton. Damn. All right. Neon, I like you in this cover, but we're going to have to advance, I think. So let's go ahead and get you on the UFO now. Deploying grapple. Hell you. All right. Hmm. Start heading up this way. I'm going. I know. I'm on it. Okay. Speed crush, you have options. All right, you got the Hesh shell. That's the one that's a big, yeah. I mean, this is a double kill. So how can, well, I know how I can't because I could also go for the kill on Rob Duncan. Mm, go ahead and destroy that guy's donuts. Um, Pillowmore, you got no shots. Oh, you have really heavy All cover right. here. This is perfect. Please tell me you have eyes on something. Damn. Oh, I was really hopeful. All right. Violet, what you got? Honestly, could I move you up and get you to dominate that damn gatekeeper? Sure. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. But, you know, I'm not going to do it. You know why? Because we can kill it. Wow, 10 to 12 damage with that soul fire. That's actually a chance of the kill. It is, is incredible. It is acidic right now, so it's probably going to die anyway. Even if that doesn't do it. Oh, yeah, it's dead. That clown is down. We're going to save that domination for later. Tell you what, Pillmore, go ahead and give uh, an extra move to Chef Bear because he's in kind of a compromised position here. Not that I'm going to have you, you know, I'm not going to have him run with it. No, 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 no. It's not going to be that easy. We're going to use pressure blasts to blow them both away. Fired up. Get out of my house. Did you miss the other one? I don't know. Anyway, uh, like I said, we can go ahead and use the Hesh over here. And I think that's the play at this point. Right? Come on. Come on, I see it. There, there's a sweet spot. It's the sweetest spot in Spottington. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, that might also all break the distress beacon. I, am taking I didn't kill him. All right, it's fine. Okay, feeling good about our spot. There's the acid burn on that one. He's still panicked. Yeah, that actually did way less damage on Mr. Duncan than I thought. Gatekeeper's down. Hello, Banshee. How you doing? You, you made it. Congrats. All right, collectors insist on moving first, apparently. All right, got an Overwatch over there. Got a MTF over here. Okay. Well, Hellweave's going on, so someone tried to get up close and... <laughs> raw, he's burning, raw. Why are you in melee? There's a kill zone over there. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Mach X making their moves. All right, Neon. This guy's getting close to your uh, domain. Ne never mind. Uh, never mind. Never mind. He's not. He's not. I thought he was going to get close. He decided he was just going to be weird. He's throwing up. He is throwing a grenade. He mi Oh, Chef Bear. How did you get 100% and a miss with a grenade? Chef Bear's is too good. He refuses to go down easily. Those uh, foundation forces really want that Banshee gone. That's a burn. Yep. No damage, just the burn. That's unfortunate. I mean, I'm not surprised that the Epsilon is immune to fire. 
Uh, it's already on fire and you're not doing regular damage to it. Please use other attacks. Thank you. I should have saved the explosion for right here. Okay. Um, Chef Bear, you are in a even more compromising position now. Mm hmm. You use a regular flamethrower, but that doesn't... Oh, actually, we could hit that guy with a flamethrower. Do that. Burn him out. Beautiful. Okay, Bob Duncan's down. He's straight up dead. No, no, not the blade storm. You gotta watch out, though. That dude that might have... Uh... Oh, that's why I didn't hurt him. Lightning reflexes. Okay. Lightning cleave. Ooh. It's a terrible move. Terrible idea. But it feels good. In theory. Alright. Can we get you in the ship? Ooh, we could. However, if we did that, you would just go in there and take damage. So, let's not do that. For now, come over this way. Is it clear? Could throw a plasma warhead down there. Well, in theory. Wouldn't actually make it, apparently. Oh, could throw a plasma warhead over here. Do that. Hey, Caleb! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your focus. Catch. Nicely done. That got rid of the brute. So you can crush reload. What do you got eyes on? A banshee? Don't worry about the banshee. All right. Get that burner. Oh, boom. 19 damage. All right, Violet, who you got eyes on? The Banshee. I don't care about the Banshee. Uh, move over this way. Of course. So we get eyes on more soldiers. There's an MTF. All right, they probably have the... Uh... Actually, they... I don't think they have scramble gear. They might not. Try to mind control this one. You! You're on the wrong side. Time to fix it. Watch it. That thing is taking control of our soldiers. Central, that thing is on our side. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, let's see. Pillamore, you basically have the pick of the litter right here. Tell you what, give me the uh, EMP warhead. Oh, never mind. That, why would I want an EMP warhead there anyway? Um, don't worry about the Banshee. Take out the drone. Yeah. My dude does not miss a shot. Actually, a freaking infallible. I love the... I love this class. Anyway, there's some burning damage on the ba Banshee. It had one point of ablation? Does it regenerate its ablation? Maybe it does. Faith Breaker. I've never seen this thing actually use a move. This is I think this might literally be the first time I've ever seen it try to do anything, and I don't know what it did. If anything. Are you shooting at up? You shooting at um oh yeah, you are shooting at your boy. Okay. This is fine. Our boy's taking a shot back, or your boy, or somebody's boy. 43%! Wow, that was amazing. Okay, yep, and they're fighting each other too. Actual insanity over here. This is chaos. And I love it. This is what I love seeing more than anything else. I like it when it's like four factions on the same map and they're all against each other. Ah, one of them's running away. Now that I blame her. Ooh, wow! Uh, we need to try to take her out. She's gonna get experience. Medic. Oh, okay. Well, you're you're fine, Shift Bear. Okay, you didn't go down that easily. I think you have a hook available. We should try to use it if we can. Okay, here comes the here comes the fire eaters. Going after the banshee. Of course. Acknowledged. Okay, what are you doing? You're not gonna go and hit your boy, huh? It's gonna be immune to that. You, you, fire eaters are immune against fire. You should know this. It's kind of in the name. All right. Tell you what, I'm gonna have you throw the hook, Chef Bear. Grappling. I got an idea. All right. I, yeah, I see you there, Caleb Willis. And actually, this might not have been the best way to use the idea, but it might have been might have been a good idea. Um. Hey, Caleb, catch. Yeah, focus. I'll give you something to focus on. This bullet. And he's straight up dead. I love it. Okay. Uh, hi, Epsilon Burner. I guess it's our turn to use lightning hands and then uh, something else. Actually, I have a better idea. 
Come over here. Okay. Good. Use lightning hands on this guy. Y'all probably mad right now, huh? Oh, yeah, they're mad. Oof. Okay, and then finish them off. Yeah, you did. All right. Next up, Violet. Ooh, look at this double cover location. This is amazing. Hey, here she is. No eyes on anything, huh? That's fair. Don't stasis yourself, please. Let's see. Null Ward actually goes around everyone, but we don't need that right now. A Void Rift could do 8 to 11 damage. However, a Null Lance does 13 to 16. You will all learn to fear my power. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Boom! Beautiful. Okay. Next up. Reload speed crush. Okay, you don't have eyes on anything, so let's just go ahead and move you over a bit. And next turn, you might be able to shoot again. Okay, this is what I was hoping for. Use lightning cleave. Oh, you can't use it on the guy over there because you can't see the, the person over here. You can't see Anna. Okay, well, Chef Bear will be able to. No problem, boss. Yeah, you are. Okay, there's Anna Moreno. Okay. Oh, you still can't get over there? Oh my lordy, that's not what I was hoping for. Hey, right, move right here. I hope it's worth it. That, that's a great location. It's worth it. Okay. Good. Give me the acid canister. Uh, you gonna hit her? Is she hittable? Can you see her? Are you sure? Uh. Yeah, I want to use the acid canister. Sling her right here. This might burn a little. Burn him a little. I cannot tell if that hit. It did not hit. I'm losing my mind. Um, hello. Don't hit the our technically our guy. So we have rapid fire. That's fire twice at an enemy. No. Uh, bullseye. Kill them all. Take a shot at everyone in a cone. That doesn't work. Doesn't work here. Lightning cleave. Uh, yes. This would work here. So I tell you what. Use lightning cleave and position yourself on the other side. Beautiful. Okay, so I got one. You did get one. Good job, man. Go ahead and give me the Overwatch. Overwatch. Request medical support. If anyone moves, they're fricked. Tactical movement. Alright. Falling back. Did you ever I was gonna say, did you ever pull in an evac? Oh, you're on the other side of the wall. That's why I could Oh no, you're the uh Reaper. I forgot you were there. Ugh. Oh shit, they're using Banish. Those are three dodges in a row. Dude, Chef Bear is super tough to kill. Shit, that one's out. Ah, crap. You're fine. Okay, that exploded. Alright, Chef Bear. Come over this way. I can handle that. Oh, retribute my ass. They're trying to flank us. Trying nothing. Go ahead and uh, actually hit her in melee. Trying to hurt. The burn. The, the, burn. the burn was worth it. Okay, there's still a uh, still someone over here. Running. Oh shoot, I accidentally had you run? Ah well. He says there's a wildfire here. But I don't see him. All right, we still have the Hesh shell available. <sighs> Don't see him now. Okay, I need eyes on that dude. See who can get it. Can kill more move up a bit. I mean, I don't see that guy, so I tell you what. Head over here. Let's see if we can get eyes on that other dude. Uh, let's move you right here for now. Now I do it. Yep. Okay. Next to this tree. That spot we need to know. Ooh. What the heck was that? Is that feedback? 
What was that? Shoot him. All right, it's fine. I am targeted. We know of revenge. You were targeted, yes. Good job on noticing it. Now. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. We, we don't need to aim. Aims for lose. Aiming's for losers. No, no, no. Uh, I guess we need to aim a little bit, but, you know, trying to get a precision shot for losers. Winners, they just yeet and watch the fireworks. And good night. Another one dead. All right, we've killed most of Mach X at this point. Go ahead and give me a teleport, if you could. Bring yourself over here. Dude, Violet is absolutely rocking this battlefield. Ours could probably use some updates. All right. So don't shoot that person. Give me the uh, Void Rift right here. Friendly object. Oh, yeah, it'll destroy the thing. Yeah, no, I, I guess I'd rather not destroy the thing. Use it right here. That won't destroy the thing. Yeah, da, da. Okay. The problems are solved. I think all we have to do now is the stress beacon and we're done. Okay. Uh, Chef Bear, I think you might be our best hacker, but I could be wrong on that. What is your hacking? Five. You are not our best hacker. <laughs> Freaking Pillamore has 50. Um, 60 on this burner, this random ass dude. Uh, what, Violet has 50. What? 70 on Speed Crush, but he can't get over there in time. And five. Okay, well, I'm, I was very wrong, apparently. Violet, come over here. Do the Good. computer thing. All right. That's a technical term, by the way. Now. All right. Computer thing time. I don't care. Just hack it. I'm not surprised, and you're not surprised, and nobody's surprised about that. Done. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Holding. All right. Good job, everybody. A okay. little bit of damage on Chef Bear, but honestly, all things considered, the way Chef Bear actually avoided as much damage as he could have, he could, he could have been killed. He avoided so much damage in that fight. That was amazing. Three and 61 is enough to give uh, Pillamore the MVP, which, hey, every shot he took, it's practically, actually, I think every shot was a kill. Uh, 3 and 58 for Chef Bear. 3 and 26 for Neon. A lot of threes. 3 and 49 for Speed Crush. And only one kill for Violet, but, you know, we also got a free soldier from them. I don't, I don't think we're going to put them to work, but... You know, the mind control doesn't last forever. Obviously, I've been downplaying Violet's uh, talents here. He's got two mind control abilities, a soul burn that does soul fire that does like double digit damage, which is nuts. Yay, more recruitment. Yeah. Yes, become goo. That will be injected into an avatar for the better tomorrow. It'll be a better tomorrow for them. You don't need it tomorrow. Don't worry about it. All right. Good job, lads. I don't know what you're doing over there, Fillmore, but you're doing it well. All right. Let's see what the damage is on Chef Bear. How you doing, buddy? It's always good for morale and the Two days. He'll be good. Aces, lads. Very, very much aces. Woo! 105 alloys, 224 supplies, 62 crystals, and two Illyrium cores. And a Praetorian corpse, which is brand new to us. The only bad thing about that mission is that one of the Mach X got out. But other than that, that was beautiful. Okay. Let's go get that alien cache done, and then we're going to go ahead and dissect a Praetorian. Lots of alloys and crystals. Don't need resistance contacts. Uh, region income. Let's go towards that. That's always nice. Hi there, I heard you had some income for me. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. Beautiful, I am beautiful. Ready to begin on your order, Commander. 
Praetorian autopsy. It'll only take one day. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. It's, it's just an autopsy, Tygen. But I appreciate that. Hey, look, the research is complete. This outcome, though it is intriguing. Collect the construction of deformed husk. Okay. They really want to do nano cores right now. I mean, an Illyrium core in two days is pretty good. And we have the stuff for it. So, sure, you want to do it? Do it. Go ahead, science it up, my man. Get all sciencey up in here. All right, the refiner is almost done. Our team is actually quite efficient. That's an Illyrium core, all right. Very cool, very cool. Here, do some, uh, do some random research. I agree. That is an important task. Let's see what that field research gets us. Chef Bear is recovered and ready to rock and or roll. Refiner is here. No place to hide. Ready to rock and or roll. One refiner has been added to the inventory. I'm going to check uh, probably Rathburger because it is a big gun. Bombardier is next, which I think is also a big gun. But I don't remember for sure. Question mark? I don't know. Burger. My burger man. You've been rocking the regular ass coil cannon this whole time. 13 to 16 damage. That's the number we got to keep in mind. It's the only number that really matters. Okay, the refiner. Ooh, 13 to 18. And it has a free fire mode. Oh, 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 oh. Baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Yeah, equip it. Oh, it's an assault rifle type, but it has free fire? 13 to 18 damage is nuts. Okay, do this, but we're gonna we'll check out the bombardier later. Uh, but for now, go ahead and give me the auto loader. Get me the hair trigger. And I guess more more ammunition. Sure. Why not? See what it does. I mean I know what it does. Let's shoot more. Okay. Once the bombardier is done, we gotta put more stuff in the proving ground. Remember this. PCS almost fabricated. PCS has been fabricated. We might as well keep it up, Commander. Perception. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. I'll try. Okay, what do we got? Resistance order. Resistance network. No. Mm, I'm still waiting. There's hammer down. Still waiting to locate our boys once and for all. Let's go rescue a rogue operative. That's something we could do. Let's see. Den Mother, are you and Elena? Yeah, you two are ready to go. Let's head on you two. Okay. This should, I believe, unlock a mission. Let's make sure nobody gets hurt. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Thanks, Volk. I appreciate that. Hey, this should be a mission as well. And it is. Alright, what do we got? Six enemies. Operation Magma Revolver increases income by 23. There are Praetorians, early avatar deployment. Ooh. It's three soldiers only. I mean, there's only six enemies? Setting course for the Something Arctic sussy territories. about this. I'm very suspicious. I'm thinking it's going to be a constant um, reinforcement type Commander, mission. Due to conditions in the field, We'll only be able to send limited personnel on this deployment. Yeah, I hear you. Um, and I don't see anything saying we need to be quiet. So you know what? Yeah, Parrish, let's send you. You know, since we don't need to be quiet, let's go loud. Parrish, sigh, and I do need one person who can get in there and get the stuff. Which means I need someone with speed and or I still can't believe he has 23 speed I need someone with speed or stealth or both you know what screw it yeah let's bring Rathburger I want to test out that weapon all right this is about a lot as loud as it gets good luck lads I don't know if you're gonna need it in fact I'm leaning towards you won't but you are outnumbered slightly Okay, remember this reinforcements that technically we're not in that number as well, which could mess with it. There's an avatar going to be here. 
But you can blow up an avatar, in theory. They, unlike some of our soldiers, are not immune to explosions. I still can't believe Prophet's immune to explosions. I mean, I can. It's right there in the name. But, you know, it's kind of a big deal. Not every day you get someone who just says no to giant blowy uppy things. All right. So we got three soldiers. They have many big kabooms. In fact, I think Sai has more kabooms, but of course Parrish has harder hitting kabooms. In fact, Sai's kabooms are specifically less harder hitting so that he can have more of them. And that's okay. They're less harder hitting, but they also have a greater radius. So it's an interesting concept, his weapons. They also both have guns, so you know, that's helpful too. All right. So we're recovering an item. I'm assuming that means we might have to hack as well, and we did not bring a good hacker. All right, I forewent the hacking, which may have been a terrible mistake. I could have, pro I could have probably brought Wingus instead of Rathburger, or I could have brought Wingus instead of the other two. But I figured I already was sending two people without their bond mate. I might as well send all three without bond mates. May not have been a good decision. There's only one way to find out. And that's by getting into the battlefield and finding out. So that's my plan today. What's your plan? You have plans today? You have good plans? I hope you do. I don't know. I mean, your plan might just be to work. But hey, in theory, work brings money, right? And that's a good thing. So I've been told. Yeah, I, I haven't been lied to about that yet. It's generally a good thing to have some of it. I do hear Firebrand, so I'm waiting for... There you are. Suggests an exposed data vault is being held by Advent forces inside one of their facilities. Neutralize all targets. Oh, okay. What we can gather, the vault is storing data critical... This is an interesting facility. So we're moving into... And of course, we're back in Norlisk. Obviously. All enemy contacts and secure the area. Take control of those assets at all costs. All right, there's three of us. And there's slightly more of them. But we're not scared, are we? Probably not. Hey, we got an extra soldier. Tariq. That is one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Need to hack that. Be advised. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. If we're going to keep this one quiet, Commander, we'll have to limit the squad size to three of our best units. If we're going to keep this we'll one quiet, the take our noisiest units in the support. universe. All of you have five hacking. None of you are going to be yeah. able to hack well. So we can just give up on that right away. Wonder how close we can get to that building before we set off the enemy. What's up? Let's stay together. Let's get moving, ladies. Oh, that's right. Parrish has the Mishan battle suit. My dude is going to be tough. Basic stuff. Yes, moving is basic stuff. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, I'm wondering if I like just blow our way in there. Oh, there's like a guard tower. This is just a mansion. This is just straight up someone's mansion. Move, move, move. What is this? Well, it's a mansion with a turret, is what it is. Go ahead and give you the overwatch for now. Okay. Let's keep moving closer, lads. Keep moving closer. I'm not used to Rathburger being able to have move far. This is weird. It feels unnatural. Okay. Wow, we all had such different reactions. Nobody exploded anything yet. You! Okay. Well, we knew there were big things here. You do see that, right? I do see that. And we're going to do something about it. Parrish. Let's... Oh, did I not... Acid, Metal Storm... Ah, I didn't arm you with the nuke this time. I mean, I just forgot to unarm you with it, really. Uh, we could bunker bust to get our way in here. That would actually hit all three of these. But I have a better idea. We're going to start with someone else. We're going to start with Sai. Uh, why? Because his weapons are actually better at shredding armor. 
Believe it or not. This is also going to get us in the building, most likely. So give me the big earth shattering kapow. I don't give a shit. I, mean, I, I do. I was really hoping you'd yell kapow, but <laughs> all right, that's fine, too. That did not get us in the building. Interesting. What is this building made out of? He did blow up the uh, turret right away. All right, that thing does have 50 health, and we do not. So we need to act accordingly. Okay. <sighs> Shit. Parrish is not behind cover. All right, get behind cover. Metal Storm can still do a ton of damage to this thing. Yeah, we're going to take advantage of that. First, Wrathburger. Look at this free aim. Look at this shit. All right, but we, we could use it. We could also Barrage, which is another free aim shot, by the way. Hail of Bullets is a guaranteed hit. Suppression, Rend, which we're not going to use. Strike, Heavy Strike, Rage Strike. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Start with the Barrage. Wait. Everything's going to end the turn. Go ahead and give me the regular free fire for now. This actually only takes one ammo. What a ridiculous gun. 18 damage to the Praetorian Sectopod. It did get a kill. Okay, the free fire is not the same as the regular fire. That's good to know. Combat rush going around. He's get his, He gets his adrenaline rush, which means he gets an extra move. This is 97%. Oh my god, he missed a 97% shot. XCOM, man. Freaking XCOM. Give me the Metal Storm rocket right here. It will be loud. That is the point. And ba boom. Nice crit. Okay, we don't have anything that can shut that guy down. So what I'm thinking we might do is... Oh, but you have 100% hit chance from here. Now, go go ahead and move over here. Move a little bit closer. Okay, you still have 100% hit chance, you do, but you know what? Go ahead and hunker down. I'm hoping... Nope, he is not a good distraction. He's going to use an explosion. Damn it. Ooh. Big misses, though. Rathburger with a slap back. 11 damage on that slap back. That's the slappiest back I ever saw. Maybe this one will miss too. Wow. Oh my God. That was amazing. Y'all. Okay, eight turns. Okay, those aren't close enough. All right. Tariq, you got a kill? 10% um, chance to get a kill. Wow. That was amazing. The Shield Maiden and Praetorian Guard. Hold up. All right, they have armor. Let's. We're gonna fix that real quick. Okay. Fuck them. Yeah. Hell you. All right. When in doubt, blow everything up. Okay. Parish, what do we got? You got your regular rocket. You have your, um... No, 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 actually. You have the jetpack. Go ahead and jetpack over here. Take the amazing cover. In position. You are in position. Aha! Uh -huh. It's in the bedroom. Package. Of course. Okay. Go ahead and give me the rocket barrage. Yeah, give me the rocket barrage. Rocket Barrage does some damage. Did not get the kill, but it did not end the turn either, and that's the important part, because this will get the kill. Shoulder-mounted FU! Do not get cocky, man. Even though we have every reason to be, we are the best. <laughs> All right. Move a little bit closer here. Okay, another turn done. Knew it. I knew they were going to send in reinforcements eventually. Parrish can get in there. I don't know if there's something in there, though. That's the problem. Hmm. 
Oh, wait, can you hook in there? You can. Okay, yeah, yeah, get yourself in there. This is perfect. Okay, do you see anything? You do not. All right, get over here. And uh, do your best hacking. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Go for broke. Oh, my God. We could have gotten the 4%. Oh, my gosh. She could have actually gotten it. I'm losing my mind over here. What? Okay. Well, there's the autopsy results. Now we just have to kill everybody. Which is something he is good at. Oh, we're ready for him. But where? Uh, wherever they're threatening the AO. Actually, uh... Go ahead and move up here. Thirty, can you can help next turn? Okay, you're fine. You're fine. Hello. Oh yeah, just right through the building. That'd be great. We got a mech and a, a blue dude. Is that a blue dude? That's a blue dude. Okay. I don't remember what kind the blue dudes are. They're about to be the dead kind, but uh, riot trooper. Okay. Well. Oh, wow. Two misses. That hurts. And he's immediately shooting. Smoke. Oh, crap. Okay. Hmm. Well. Get my free loads here. All right. Well, where there's smoke, there's a need to use explosions instead. Gotta love that Mishan suit. All right, then take a move. Obviously, we can't get an acid rocket down there, not from this location. So I tell you what, go ahead and give me the overwatch from here. And just be ready in case they come in. Okay. Blaster bomb will do some extra damage to them. Oh, now you give me the kapow. All right, dude, now you kapow for me. Okay, whatever. Thank you for the kapow. Tariq, 62% is actually way higher than I thought you'd have. Take it. Oh my god, this dude is an actual champ. Why is he not part of XCOM? Melee this bastard. Get burgered, son. That's a regular sectopod. Which is going to be an easier fight, actually. Okay, the sterilizer is running away. All right. Good for you. You serious? You just run straight. Give me the freaking this. Blow all of their ass. All of their ass. Bust their bunkers. All right, that actually didn't do much damage, but whatever. It probably shredded a bunch of armor, uh, which is equally important in theory. Okay, get over here. Ekcom. Ekcom, at this point. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Ekcom. You cannot get the warhead over there. Yeah. Hmm. Dang. Nobody to command either, huh? Well, it's because you can't see Rathburger. Hmm. Let's see. Rathburger, move up here. That was an order, yes. Congrats, you realized it. Come on up this way, Sai. I don't really sympathize with the paraplegics, you know? I, I know how they feel, because sometimes I'm just too lazy to stand or walk myself. Damn, I can't see the other guy. If I could, I could use Barrage and kill him. That sucks. All right, I'm thinking our best move here is honestly going to be to maybe use the pistol, because that could maybe stun him. Go for it. Did not get a stun. Good damage. Great damage, but no stun. All right, it is what it is. Tariq, I need you to move up. Sure, get in the smoke. Of course. At least you'll be covered for a little bit. Okay, here comes the sectopod. Oh, he's going full chicken. Oh, shit, and he's going to have to perish. Yeah. That hurt. Crap, they might both go after him. That's a problem if it happens. Ooh, no damage. Just 
destroyed the armor, but didn't do any actual... Really, dude? How can he get four moves? That is ridiculous. All right, well, he did dodge one of them. And he is still alive. But it, I'm, I'm assuming the chicken thing is a free move. So when I say four moves, I fully understand that, you know, one of those was technically free. All right, big shot. Start with the minigun. Do some damage with that. Nice. Good hit with the Mishan. Okay. Can the Acid Rocket get the kill? Probably not. I would love for you to get the kill, but it looks like it's probably... Oh, actually, this might do it. Oh my god, you left him with one health. That made me sad. Um... Well, you know what won't make me sad is watching Rathburger get the kill. 88%, 99%. Get tapped. Oh. Well, Parrish is down for a bit. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Dang chickens, man. Them dang chickens. All right, well, Rathburger gets the MVP. Accuracy was a little bit. But four kills and 90 damage will do it for you. Two kills and 81 damage for Parrish. 25 damage for Psy. Honestly, thought the Bunker Buster was going to do more damage. I think that was part of it. I thought the Bunker Buster would have killed the guy up top. Wouldn't have helped against the chicken, to be fair. It still would have frozen up and shot apparently three times at Parrish. But it is what it is. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quota. He survived. That's the important part, right? And one of those shots did no damage. Not sure how that happened, but I can't complain. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. I feel like I heard that one. Was that the same thing you said last time? Or did I just hear the better tomorrow thing and made an assumption? That's very possible. The all right, Parrish, how are we looking? Wondering what hit him. Five Let's days. That's not bad. Commander. It's not bad at all. Two Illyrium cores. Some coating. Nice. That's all from the corpse. Four Praetorian corpses. Nice. A couple of sectopods. Excellent work, Commander. New Arctic income Your up by 23. To bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Do love a nice bolstered movement. Fear of chrysalids on Parrish. Okay, we need to heal him up so we can get rid of that. Remind me of this later. Don't know what that had to do with the mission, but whatever. It is what it is. That, however, is going to be it for this episode of that. Please, XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. If you enjoyed it, make sure let me know. And by giving it a like, you haven't already, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Because it'll keep going. It won't stop till it does. And then it will. And something else will come. And then maybe you can enjoy that too. Thanks again for watching this episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Slat, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes. Yo.